A couple of months ago, everyone was talking about AutoGPT. It was the new hot thing in AI, and it promised to be as if not more disruptive than ChatGPT. So what is the idea of AutoGPT? The goal was effectively to create autonomous AI agents that were capable of achieving goals largely on their own. As the GitHub page puts it, AutoGPT chains together LLM thoughts to autonomously achieve whatever goal you set. AutoGPT pushes the boundaries of what's possible with AI. What was different about it is that a couple months before these features became common in ChatGPT and its competitors, it had internet access for searches and information gathering. AutoGPT was also designed to have long and short-term memory management. And effectively, the promise was that you could create any goal you had, and AutoGPT would figure out how to get it done. That meant not only going out and searching for relevant information, not only coming up with a plan, but potentially even spinning up the AI agents that were necessary to actually execute against that plan. Now, you can see when it comes to interest in the project, there was a massive, massive spike at the beginning of April, with people starting to engage with the GitHub repository in a huge way. Another very similar project, Baby AGI, launched around the same time. Baby AGI's GitHub page reads, the script works by running an infinite loop that does the following steps. Pulls the first task from the task list, sends the task to the execution agent, uses OpenAI's API to complete the task based on context, enriches the result and stores it, creates new tasks and reprioritizes the task list based on the objective and the result of the previous task. Now, almost immediately, a number of different projects arose to try to give these types of experiences a graphical user interface to allow people who weren't coding and running it locally to actually take advantage of this new technology. Agent GPT was one, God Mode was another, and there was even an iOS app called iBaby AGI. Now, of course, because of the hype cycle around everything AI, there was incredible expectations placed on AutoGPT really, really quickly. And it didn't necessarily get there in these first implementations. People tended to find that AutoGPT was really good at brainstorming and coming up with a list of tasks, but when it came to actually deploying agents to achieve those tasks, it didn't often work. At the end of April, Kyle Schrader wrote what I thought was a good sum up of the situation where we were. He said, regarding the idea that AutoGPT sucks, here's my guide to Twitter. One, don't take AutoGPT so seriously. Two, appreciate its capabilities and move on. Three, block anyone trying to hype it at this point. They are not worth it. It's an early demonstration of organized AI agents with tools. It's cool. That's it. However, over the last couple days, I've seen more and more people talking about something that's called Super AGI. Ken Irwin writes, anyone that has ever worked with me that I like, try Super AGI out. I am so, so mind blown. It's more powerful than you're even imagining. Now, it turns out Ken wasn't alone. When you go to Super AGI's GitHub page, you can see that there has been a huge increase in interest in just the last few days. From the beginning of June to today, there's been roughly a 10x increase in the number of GitHub stars for the project, which now exceeds 3,000 overall. Super AGI bills itself as infrastructure to build, manage, and run useful autonomous agents. The features, it says, include provision, spawn, and deploy autonomous AI agents, extend agent capabilities with tools, run concurrent agents seamlessly, graphical user interface, multimodal agents, optimized token usage, concurrent agents, and more. They also promise that agents can learn and improve their performance over time with feedback loops. A post on Latchy's Lifestyle says Super AGI is essentially AutoGPT on steroids. It can use tools, run multiple agents in parallel, has a graphical user interface, and is super easy to install. Hacker Noon says Super AGI is an open source platform providing infrastructure to build autonomous AI agents. So you can add capabilities to your agents by selecting tools from an ever-growing library or build your own custom tool. They also point to the fact that this is an open source community encouraging developers to join and contribute to making the platform better. Now, if you go check out their Discord community, it's really clear that they're trying to pick up and address some of the problems that people had with AutoGPT and Baby AGI. In their pin thread in the introduction page, they write, Super AGI is a framework to build and run useful autonomous agents. We believe the world will be run by autonomous systems, agents, and applications. Super AGI intends to build infrastructure to enable this. With Super AGI, you can provision, spawn, and deploy useful autonomous agents. Every couple days, there are interesting updates. On May 30th, 0.02 went live, which added a local GUI for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, GPT 3.5 support, and email support allowing agents to read, write, send, and save email drafts, and more. Then just yesterday, 0.03 went live on GitHub as well. This included new tools for Dolly 2, GitHub Web Interaction Tool, Human Interaction Tool, and more open source LLM models, including Llama, Vicuna, Alpaca, and more, and other various improvements around the platform. Now, this is not yet a project where we're seeing tons and tons of demos from the Twitter threaders. 
Instead, it's the developer set who are getting really excited about the possibilities here, and that's why I'm paying attention. I have no idea if Super AGI is going to solve any of the problems of AutoGPT right out the gate, or if it's just another contributor to the overall AI agent space. But what's clear is that once you get past the hype, a huge, huge amount of developer energy is going into autonomous AI agents. Where they find product market fit is anyone's guess, but there are certainly going to be lots of shots on goal. Now, in the meantime, as we're waiting for more information about Super AGI, I've also seen a lot of chatter about this new tool, Multi on AI, as well. On May 26th, McKay Wrigley wrote, AI agents are getting crazy. The team at Multion built a browsing agent that will absolutely blow your mind. Here I tell it to book me a flight on Delta from SLC to NYC from June 11th to June 14th, and it does it fully autonomously. Got it 100% right on the first go. Unreal. Now you can see at each step of the way, it's telling McKay what it's doing and giving him the option to press do it to move to the next step. I am clicking on the Delta flight option matching the desired dates as a for example. Next, I am selecting the first flight option that has a convenient time and reasonable price to book. And again, you can press do it. Dave Craig tried an even simpler example, saying, go to Elon Musk's Twitter, then go to Apple's Twitter, then go to Nike's Twitter. You can see Multion do these things in sequence, and in each case, you just have to press do it to continue to the next step. Div Garg, one of the developers of Multion, says, This release is our test vehicle to simply show our AI capabilities, and we have done zero site-specific optimization as of yet. Our same AI engine works universally on every website, zero shot. We can't wait to unveil our first production race car when it's ready. The point is that while the hype may have died down a little bit on AutoGPT, that's not necessarily a bad thing. As that tweet put it right at the beginning of this episode, it's cool technology. It's AI agents learning how to be AI agents. That's it. Enjoy it for what it is. There is no doubt that one of the major areas that people are excited about in the entire AI space is autonomous agents. And for that reason alone, people are going to keep trying to explore different use cases, of which some will work and some won't. But it's likely that even the ones that don't will teach us something. So that is the view from Super AGI for here. Obviously, I will continue to keep an eye on it. If you're enjoying the AI breakdown, please like, subscribe, and share it. Click the notification button so you don't miss any episodes. And then go check it out the other places that you can get it. It comes out every day as a podcast, and we also do a newsletter each morning. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching, and until next time, peace.